with not only the industrial innovation, but also with you know, the global tech companies and uh, startups. So let me walk you through our journey so far. So um, uh, the title of the meeting was Best Friend, and next to symbolize the relationship between Central Beasy and SA Protocol. So Central Beasy is a product of the SAT, and in February this year, uh, we signed an MOU on Metaverse and AI to CEO. And we are growing together as the most consulting global partners in the Malaysia region. And thanks to the two for his leadership in growing our partners. So, uh, talking about 5G, this is the trend that every senior, uh, as Tokyo was the first in the world to commercialize 5G network, and 64% of our users are using 5G already. And for your information, South Korea has about 30 million 5G customers. So you can account about 69.5%. So the number is multiplied. And SKP's 5G brand is loved and trusted. So we have achieved a uh, grand slam. We rank number one in three major customer satisfaction services for 26 years, which is not a small growth. <laughs> and SKP's 5G technology also achieved outstanding results both in the agency year. And for example, 2023, uh, by the you know, uh, Mobile Network Experience Award, we rank number one in terms of the you know, download link speed. And about 99% of Korean users can access and use 5G services now. And this success was not achieved by only our you know, endeavors, but also collaboration and support by the government was crucial. So, to cover an entire country cost a lot of money. So Korean government facilitated collaboration among three couples so we can share the you know, local network, rural area. So we could successfully uh, deploy our 5G infrastructure you know, efficiently and economically. So uh, since the launch of 5G, as you see on this wall, SAP is making various efforts to promote 5G and build the ecosystem. And from designing very compelling 5G price plan, not only for consumer but also for our enterprise user, but at the same time we launched this reality studio. And we have launched you know, edge cloud computing. We worked with Microsoft to launch 5G cloud gaming. So these are some of the examples we need to promote and bring awareness to this new technology. That's not all. You just see here, we have launched uh, private five to four businesses, and we launched Metaverse Implant. And also, we are working on area network for UAM, urban air mobility, so flying car. So to many of those, you know, upcoming technology and innovation, we are creating a lot of resources. So, looking back, I think there are three pillars that our for ICT, but also self and easy, can use how to develop and promote 5G and the private opportunity. And let me work and start with the awareness part. So, 5G is a new technology, and you and the price customers will wonder how 5G technology can add value to the end the user's daily lives. So to raise awareness of 5G, it is essential first to generate awareness and excite, excitement about this new technology. So it is like three-leg race between e to c and e to d It is not separated. So for example, gaming is one of the critical industry variables 5G age to innovate. And in 2019, SAP launched 5G Cloud Gaming as a better service to Microsoft. And in September 2020, SAP introduced X Xbox All Access program for the first time in Asia. And this allowed users unlimited access to cloud 
improve the load latency for bike applications. So such as autonomous driving, robot, IoT, and augmented reality. I would like to also introduce another use case. Birthday, morning 
5G and technology. So you wonder, what do you mean by working? So uh, when ship or boat to a port, usually it is a uh, human uh, resource to get to the monitor the distance and speed. And then facilitate first on the boat to the port. But um, as the trade and the volume of the traffic grows, human labor sometimes you know, uh, create better. And this sense of the speed can actually create huge accidents. So by using this AI-based first monitoring system, which is called ADISS, you know, first is generated bench, and the data is selected, and ship working speed is monitored and around the view, and the distance between ships to the port was automatically captured by feedback technology and then giving back to the monitoring system of the port, which can be increased the speed and efficiency of the port Another example we saw was in May 2022, SK Telecom unveiled an autonomous delivery robot to their cargo bus about knee height and four wheels at the SK Telecom to both terminals. And when both galleries and players approach, uh, the robot recognizes them using the AI game camera and then provide water and drinks from the cargo bus. This is a simple experience, but you can actually imagine how you can actually deploy this kind of experience to other businesses and you know, on sites. But this call was built in collaboration with Metro Startup, that's called the community. So I guess there are many innovative startup ecosystems growing in Malaysia. So we need to add to their ingenuity and creativity, and we should work together with them. And I talked about bringing awareness about this 5G and then how to use that system. But Mark is really impressive. So, all of you, uh, how many of you in this room have used ChatGPT to raise your hands? This is actually demonstrate we have you know, only an author and innovator in this room. So, I myself have used. Let me just 
you uh, and a second stop uh, before the family table agreement for the uh, global family airlines. We signed them uh, MOI, LRB, and we heard from this view. So the concept was there is upcoming new DNA technology by OpenAI and Google Vertex is coming and AWS and Microsoft and developing their own innovative technologies too. But LLM are playing the role in one thing to develop applications and services to address your own business needs. We, you know, intermediary layer of platform to because if you apply genetic technology to your call center, it will not understand your business targets and expressions and price trend. That's why we need to fine tune the model to understand kind of specific uh, business or retail needs. It is like uh, uh, using LLM is highly, you know, quality internet. It is very smart. And it can work 24 hours, 3 to 65 days. But it doesn't understand your domain. That's why we need to train them to understand your business needs. So, the future of AI, this is kind of a framework we have in mind. So, through the AC years, Many capital companies aiming to become a tech company and our business, capitals like us, can become a company to facilitate and support innovation with all you know, industry players. So first of all, we apply the technology to optimize operation efficiency in established businesses. We can start from your know, open operations how to support folks that are able. And then, we can revolutionize customer experience with the AI system. So, uh, as I, you know, I travel to Hong and Singapore, I love you Dubai, and we talk about what are the key use cases, and in the same platform, we have identified 200 use cases for type of domain. And across all those use cases, Innovating customer experience and building a strong relationship with our customer seems the most important. And it's always creating a lot of exciting. The public concept is really, really big when it comes to the very customer service. So, by adopting this innovation and revolutionizing our own process, we can bring innovation forward and price it. With our vision, uh, we have created our own AI large language model, and the brand name is DataX. Because innovation cannot be outsourced, and innovate, in house innovation is the kind of foundation to achieve sustainable growth and differentiation of your business. That's why we not only partner with this you know, global you know, tech companies, but at the same time, when it comes to Korea, we decided to develop our own. So uh, within our AI tech brand A.X, we achieved three strengths that set us apart from other element models. So first and foremost, you know, understand that was specific business model. So if you're using a gen AI and type in for it, hey, my order is using a uh, you know uh, day or month, so I get a lot of you know uh, price this month. And then if it is an AI, you would say, hey, you know, let your children you know, be careful of data usage. But if the LLM understands our business model, actually it can actually recommend, hey, you know, there are you know, other price premium, you know, uh, price plans that actually provide a lot more data, and you can actually share your benefit. Generic language model cannot do job. That's why understanding specific domain is beautiful. We will start from the level, and then once we achieve success, we can work with finance company, banking company, insurance company, and healthcare company to make them achieve their own LLM to understand their needs to make. That's the reason we have. And we, are, we have deployed top tier uh, supercomputer to be able to make it know if you send a query, to Google Vertex, Google Mart, or you know, Microsoft, uh, new AI health service. Actually, computing power, the cost to run computing power, and the cost by the market. So we are providing access to this you know, new AI technology, but at the same time, to provide that, we think that's a lot of money too. That's why, you know, creating a life among companies can actually create scale and 
client 